Hi, welcome back everybody, me Robert here. You probably have seen my video ChatGPT but open sourced, running Hugging Chat locally. In the video back then I showed how you can run the Hugging Chat Chat UI but also the text generation inference server locally on a virtual machine. However, this required a lot of manual actions and therefore we released a Hugging Chat plugin for AI Automate, which is our AI automation tool. With this plugin, you can install Hugging Chat with just one command. I will show you everything in this video, how you can run the chat UI, but optionally also the inference server and the large language models. You will learn how your hugging face credentials get preserved and reapplied if you reinstall the chat UI. But you also will see how the prerequisites like a MongoDB can be installed with one command as well. So if you like this content, please consider giving a like and subscribe. Now without further ado, let's get to it! Okay, let me show you how you easily can install Hugging Chat with AI Tomate. I will cover both variants. Variant 1, running Hugging Chat with a remote inference endpoint from Hugging Face. And variant 2, running Hugging Chat with a local text generation inference server. If you're not familiar with Hugging Chat yet, please check out my video ChatGPT but open sourced running Hugging Chat locally. And if you're not familiar with AI Tomate, please check out my video AI Automation with AI Tomate. If you also want to run a local text generation inference server, then GPU devices are required. In this case, you want also to check out my last video about NVIDIA CUDA installation. Hugging Chat requires MongoDB as a database. So if you want to run MongoDB locally as well, you simply can type AI Tomate mongo install and then you hit enter and then you type ai tomate mongo and start and then you hit enter again this runs a mongodb database with docker we clear the terminal again now let's install hugging chat the hugging chat installation is controlled by the hugging chat ai tomate plugin this plugin comes as a directory named Hugging Chat that you simply copy into the AI Tomate plugins directory. It contains a .end file and several scripts. The Hugging Chat installation is controlled by the .end file. Here you find the Git repository from which the chat UI gets cloned. Optionally, you can define an environment manager here. So for example, if you want to run the chat UI in a Conda virtual environment, you can type Conda here. However, for this demo, we stick with the default settings and we remove Conda here again. And here you can see that the required node version is specified here. And also a NPM version can be specified here. However, since we want to stick with the default settings, we do not change anything here and we close the .end file again. You just have to run the command AI Tomate Hugging Chat install and then you hit enter. If you install Hugging Chat for the first time, AI Tomate will automatically create a Hugging Chat directory here in the directory AI Tomate private. In this Hugging Chat directory you will find two .env files. The first .env file, the .env.chat UI file here, is the .env file that is used if you just want to run the chat UI with a remote inference endpoint. And the .env.inference server.env file is used if you also want to run a local text generation inference server. But let's have a look in the .env.chat UI file first. This is the official .env file from Hugging Chat, but with a local MongoDB URL here. You can adapt the MongoDB URL here to your needs. And you also want to set your personal Hugging Face access token here. If you do not know how to get the Hugging Face access token, please watch my video ChatGPT but open sourced running Hugging Chat locally. But that's basically all you have to do here. Optionally, if you like to customize the chat UI, you can scroll down to the end of this file and make some changes here. Please note that these files that are located here in the AI Tomate private directory are not overwritten if you install Hugging Chat again. 
Instead, they will always be reapplied to the Hugging Chat directory if you reinstall Hugging Chat. You can customize all these directories in the .env file, which is located in the root directory of AI Tomate. Now with your personal .env file in place here, you can reinstall Hugging Chat with the same command as before. If you want to know which further commands we have available, you can type AI Tomate Hugging Chat and enter. And here you can see the available actions, which are install, what we already did, run chat UI, run inference server, and delete. So if we want to run the chat UI, we type AI Tomate Hugging Chat run chat UI and then we hit enter. And here we can see that the Hugging Chat app is running on port 5173 now, and we can open it in the browser by clicking here. And here you can see that the Hugging Chat UI is running on your local machine on port 5173. Now let's stop the chat UI again here and we clear the terminal. And now I show you how you can run Hugging Chat with a local text generation inference server. First, let's have a look into the relevant .env file, which is .env.inference server. This is basically the same .env file like the one we looked into before, but this time you do not need a Hugging Face access token because this time we do not use the remote inference endpoint from Hugging Face but instead we use our local endpoint from our local text generation inference server. So we scroll down into the model section and here we can see that here is a second model, which is our local open assistant model, which we make accessible through this local endpoint. Now we can run the local inference server. Let's have a look which commands are available for that. We have to use the action run inference server here. So we simply can type AI to mate hugging chat and then run inference server and then we hit enter. The download of the model takes a little while. So I stop the video here and I will be back when it's finished. So I'm back again and we can see that the server has started successfully. Now I split the terminal window here. Now I can run the chat UI again, but this time I add the parameter dash dash env dash inference dash server. And then I hit enter. Again, we can see that the chat UI is running on port 5173 and we can open it in a browser. Here we now can switch to our local model and at the prompt, we can talk to our local model through our local inference endpoint. That's all for today. If you like this content, please click the like button, the subscribe button, and also the notification bell below. Thank you for watching.